roughly 250 fake COVID-19 vaccination cards. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to I Say That Reaction Channel. And if you on this reaction channel for the first time, make sure you drop a like on this video. Make sure you leave a comment on this video. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. And turn on the bell notification so you can be aware the next time your boy, Mr. I Say Net, drops his next reaction video. What's up to all my loyal supporters, my day ones? What's up to all my new supporters? What's popping with y'all? All right? So, in this reaction video, man, oh man. Had to react to this. I had to. I, I, I had to. <laughs> Man, I had to react to this one. So, in this reaction video, we gonna be reacting to stripper Jasmine Clifford caught making over $10,000 a week for selling 250 fake vaccine cards on Instagram? Baby girl. Baby girl. <laughs> Man, you try to get all the money the wrong way. You out here stripping First of all, getting money the wrong way. Now you out here finessing. <laughs> you out here finessing, selling va uh, fake vaccines. Like, you out here just selling the fake vaccine cards, man. Boy, let's go ahead and get into this reaction. We're going to turn now to those arrests in that fake vaccination card scandal. Fifteen people are now charged with buying and selling forged cards. And prosecutors in Manhattan say if you were willing to pay extra, the suspects could even falsify official state immunization records. Wow. Here's Iowa News reporter Kimberly Richardson. Swimwear wasn't the only pawn she dabbled in on Instagram. Social media influencer <laughs> Jasmine Clifford <laughs> called herself a... Man. Come on, Jasmine. Come on, Jasmine. You out here with the Freddy Cougar nails. You got the fake booty. Yeah, you out here selling them cars, man. You got to try to, you know, keep that, uh, that body put together like... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep paying for that body, man. You, man. Man, man. Anti-vax mama. And through this site, allegedly advertised and ultimately sold roughly 250 fake... We're going to turn now to those arrests in that fake vaccination card scandal. Fifteen people are now charged with buying and Ooh. selling forged cards. And prosecutors in Manhattan say if you were willing to pay extra, the suspects could even falsify official state immunization records. Here's Iowa News reporter Kimberly Richardson. Swimwear wasn't the only pawn she dabbled in on Instagram. Social media influencer Jasmine Clifford called herself anti-vax mama and through this site allegedly advertised and ultimately sold roughly 250 fake COVID-19 vaccination cards. The buyers, officials say here they are, some working in frontline and essential employee <laughs> settings, including... Man, how you just going to come and just start flipping the camera off? Like, hey, you can't be mad that the camera on you. You out here doing bad. You out here making poor choices, poor decisions. Jasmine, baby girl, 
I see why you out here selling these fake cars. You got to keep up with that lifestyle. Look like you somewhere probably in Miami penthouse. You know what I mean? You got the long fake Freddy Cougar nails. You got the fake booty. <laughs> you got to keep paying for them Barbie parts, huh? Yeah. Boy. Hospitals and nursing homes, all looking for a way to cut corners during COVID. Officials say this group paid Clifford $200 per bogus card. And by the way, when there's a fake vaccination card, that means someone has committed a very serious crime. Literally, that could lead to prison time for anyone. Clifford didn't stop there, pay an additional $250, and the 31-year-old from New Jersey would then allegedly reach out to her co-conspirator who worked here at North Ocean Medical Group in Patchogue, Long Island. Nadezia Barkley had direct access to New York State's official vaccine database, which is linked to the Excelsior Pass, a digital certificate of vaccination. Authorities say at least 10 times, Barkley entered buyer's information into that database. Ooh. Now, all involved, Clifford, Barkley, and all the buyers are charged in a scheme, officials say, dates back to May of this year. This is something we've never seen before. We've seen it in the dark web, but we've never seen it just broadly offered to the general public like it is right now. Demand for these fake cards is soaring as more require proof of vaccination. But buyer beware, handing over your personal information leads you wide open to possible identity theft. All right, y'all, we back. Hey, boy. She was making that bread. You out here making the cheeks clap. You out here selling fake vaccine cards for 250 a pop. Ooh. Ooh. You out here taking. <laughs> hey man, like they say, all money ain't good money. And that wasn't good money, man. You know what you was doing was wrong. Man, and, and you forging documents? You up in databases? Like, you and whoever you got working with you? Like, man, y'all about to be in some serious trouble. Trouble. Y'all about to be in some serious trouble, man. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it if y'all probably going to the feds, man. Like, we talking about government? And you making all this money? Woo! Yeah. Hey, y'all leave y'all comments below and let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think, you know, you think she should go to jail? I mean, well, <laughs> I mean, she going to jail. She definitely going to jail and she is not, I repeat, she is not collecting $200 <laughs> after she passed go. She is not collecting that $200. But y'all let me know, you know, like, you think she should go to, um, to, to federal prison for this? How many years you think, you know, how many years you think uh, she should get? How many years you think the judge probably gonna get her, uh, give her? Cause she, she, she finna get some time. Her and whoever's involved, they finna get some time. Man, and you on Instagram, I wonder if the people who reached out to her to, to get these fake cards, I wonder if they are probably um, uh, you know, be in a situation like would they probably be in trouble to go to jail and stuff like that too? Cause you out here purchasing something that you know ain't a real legal document, and now you walking around with it, showing it to people, and it's a fake document. Like people can go to jail for walking around with fake driver license. So you out here. Walking around with a fake uh, card that you don't purchase from somebody on Instagram. And we all know, man, the fans love social media. They love watching these accounts. So 
whoever she interacting with and sending messages to and meeting up, they can go right through her phone and pull up all of that information. So I'm wondering if those people are gonna be, you know, held accountable for what they doing too as well. Or maybe they just gonna, you know, key in on Jasmine and everybody else who was involved with the situation, who knows, but hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, all money ain't good money. And uh, damn, baby girl, you, you should've just, you should have just kept on clapping. <laughs> you should have just kept the cheeks clapping, man. You out here wanting to, to just, man, just, just stick your hand in, inside the cookie jar way too much. And now you see what it done got you. Hey, but that's all I got for y'all on this reaction video. So if you're here on this channel for the first time, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you drop your comment below. Let me know what you think about this. I want to know. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you can be aware the next time your boy, Mr. I See That, drops his next reaction video. Until the next time, y'all know the vibe. Hey.